This conference will now be recorded. Okay. So in the previous session, we have discussed about the trigger use cases and we have discussed how can we configure the triggers in Salesforce in order to do the validations, in order to do certain operations by using the help of DML statements and SQL queries also and how to implement the deduplication mechanism by using triggers based on the combination of required fields we have discussed in the previous session and today we'll see how can we implement the Apex sharing mechanism that already told you in our configuration features whenever we are sharing the records to the required users we have three types of sharing mechanism first one manual sharing which can be done with the help of sharing button second one automated sharing which can be done with the help of sharing rules third one apex sharing mechanism which can be done with the help of triggers so by using these triggers we can share the records to one or more users by deciding the user dynamically at runtime by granting the level of access dynamically at runtime. Now, so now let me explain the story behind this sharing concept. What will happen behind the screen upon sharing the record? Now, let me explain. I'm going to my Salesforce org now. So now I'm having my applications. Inside my R, we are having few users. Totally, we have configured five users, okay, with the two Salesforce licenses and three platform licenses. With these five licenses, we have created five users. Okay, these five users are available inside my R now. Now, now let me log in into any of this user account. I'm going to the users. Let me activate this manager user also. Now, these are the five users that we have. Training batch user, he is having the Salesforce license. Customer user, he is having platform license. Development user, he is having Salesforce license. Manager user, platform license. Testing user, platform license. So, for two users, we have assigned two Salesforce licenses. For three people, we have assigned platform licenses. Okay, all the five licenses are full. All the five users are in active status now. Now, inside my R, for my account object, I have given the OWD as private. Okay, I have given the account object for WD as private. Let me go to that. Go to the sharing settings. Now let's verify the account object for WD is private. Now tell me whenever I'm creating a record inside this account object. Whenever a user is creating a record inside the object, what is the level of access of the record now? User and 
manager can access that means whenever your user creates a record inside the object only the record owner and his manager can access the record but the other users inside the organization like as there may be siblings also subordinates also those people can't access our record okay only the record owner and his manager should be able to access the record okay now so now the other users should not be able to access to make the record to be visible to the other people we are using sharing mechanism there we can use manual also automation also apex sharing also okay then why should we go for this apex sharing i will explain the concept first then we will see how to do that and then we'll see how to implement through triggers now now i would like to log in into a user account development user I'm logging into development user. In this development user account, I'm creating a new account record. Click on new button. I'm creating a new account record. Like sharing test account. I'm giving the name as Apex Sharing Test Account. Type some customer direct. Industry Finance. Rating Heart. Phone number I have given some value. Fax number. Website. Ownership. Annual revenue I'm indicating as some 24 lakhs. Priority high, active status, yes. Now, I'm creating a record right now. Whenever I'm creating a record right now, the record will be created successfully. Once the record has been created, now the record will be visible only to the record owner and his manager based on the role hierarchy. Other users inside the organization, they cannot be able to access my record. Now tell me, I want to see who are all the people can access my record right now. I want to check it out. How? How can we verify? Hmm. What we can do? Sharing button, right. Just you can click on this sharing button. Now the sharing button is indicating over here. As of now, two people are able to access this record over here. Okay, one is development user, he is having the full control, Bangalore sales group because of automated sharing rule over here. Okay, now, now tell me, this data will be storing where? This is a table, right? Now, this data might have stored in some table, right? Yes. Whenever once they click on account tab, all the account records are visible, right? Right here. When I click on leads tab, it is collecting the data from the lead table, it will represent. Now, when I click on sharing button, it is indicating the data over here. This data might have stored in somewhere. What is that object over here? What is that object now? In this case, for Salesforce, for every object, including standard, including custom, for every object, Salesforce is going to be creating share objects. For every Salesforce standard and custom objects, Salesforce is providing share objects. Like for account object, account share. Contact object, contact share object. Lead, lead share. Position, position underscore underscore share. Candidate, candidate underscore underscore share. Like that here, for every object, Salesforce is providing one share object additionally. When, if you make the object so WD as private. When you make the object SWD as private, then Salesforce is going to be creating share object automatically by default here. Now in that share object, what it contains, now let me explain. Account object contains account records. Those account records you have shared to some other people. Those people's data. That means these records has been shared to whom? Those people's data will be storing in sharing object here. Okay, share object contains the details of the users to whom these records has been shared. 
okay now like the similar way in this case whenever we are going to be click on sharing button this data is coming from that share object over here that is called as account share object for every object salesforce is providing a share object which will store the sharing details of those records okay understood the concept now now let's see make a note of this one now when the object's wd has been assigned as private then when the object's wd has been assigned as private then if any of the user creates a record inside the object then salesforce will make the record to be visible only to the record owner and his manager based on the role hierarchy based on the role hierarchy other users inside the organization can't access the record to make the records to be visible to the other users we are using sharing mechanism we are using sharing mechanism while sharing the records to the required users then salesforce will store the sharing related data inside the share objects inside the share objects now salesforce provides a separate share object salesforce provides a separate share object for each standard some object inside the organization as below object name and share object i am having this campaign object lead account contact opportunity case hiring manager position etc for the campaign we have campaign share lead lead share account share contact pt share case share hiring manager underscore underscore share position underscore underscore share like that salesforce is creating share objects
done with these points? Sir, after entering the data, it will represent in the uh, user interface, it will horizontal like. So if I want to make it as a vertical, like uh, it is possible through the coding. Sir? Sorry. So after entering the any data, account or case or whatever it is, so it will look like a horizontal, like horizontal, right? So if I want to make it as a vertical, all the fields. So is it possible? No, it won't show. Because text to boxes, text to boxes are only in the horizontal only. You can mark vertical. Okay. In the reports also, we can't make it as a vertical. At least. No, no. Okay. We can't make it as a vertical. Okay. Done with this. Now let's see. So now these are the share objects which are going to be preparing with Salesforce. When this share object will be getting prepared, Salesforce is going to be making this share objects can be accessible if this objects or WD is either private or public read only. In these two cases. If the objects for WD is either private or public read only, then these share objects can be accessible by the users through SOQL queries also. Through programming, we can query the data as well. Okay, now in this case here, you can raise the question. Sir, do we have any share object for candidate object? Candidate object. Why? Why can't we have this share object child. for candidate object here? Child. Position also child for hiring manager. Why can't we have for candidate object? Master detail. Okay. It's a master detail association. Between hiring manager and the position we have lookup. Upon sharing the parent, child record will not share. But in master detail association, sharing settings, security settings of the child is purely depends on parent. So upon sharing the parent, child also will share automatically. So share objects will not be available for the child object which are having master detail association with the parent. This is a fundamental rule. Okay. Now, if you want to see this share object, then how can we see? Let me show you. I'm going to the developer console now. Go to the setup menu. Okay. So this is the development user right now over here. I'm going to the developer console. Go to the open. Select objects. Now we can see the account object here. This is the account object. Do we have account share object here? Yes. This is the account share object also here. We have this account share object. I'm having position object. Is a position underscore underscore C. Do we have position underscore underscore share object here? No. Why? Hmm. Why? Why this object is not enabled still? It's a custom because object. the position object. Okay, this is a position object. Okay, OWD is public read write. Because for every custom object which you are creating, the default OWD for the custom object is private public read write. So if it is visible to everyone, then what is the need of sharing here? So no need of sharing anything. No need to have the share object here. So nothing. 
That's what here it is not visible. Now let me show you here. For my position object, I would like to make that object for WD as okay private. Then let's see what will happen. Let me go to my position object now. I'm going to the development user now. Sorry, I'm going to that share sharing setting. I'm going to the sharing setting. Click on edit. I'm making this hiring manager opposition objects. Objects WD as private. Now, click on save. Now the sharing mechanism has been initiated over here. Still it is working on this. Now done. Now my position objects so WDS. My position object for WD is private. Now let's go back to the developer console. Open objects position. Do we have the share object now? Yes. Position underscore underscore share. Okay. Share object will be getting enabled when you make the objects for WD as private or public read only. If it is public read write, share object will not be available because sharing concept is not at all required. Why? Because it is a public read write. Everybody can see your record, everybody can modify your record. So, no need of sharing concept here. It is already visible to everyone. It's not a secret, it's, an, it's open information here. Everybody is aware of that. So, in this case, now the share object will not be available. So whenever we are making the subjects for WD as private or public read only, then the share object will be getting enabled automatically by default here. Clear? Understood the concept now? No. Make a note of this one. Share objects will be enabled. Enabled are accessible when the objects were WD is either private or public read only. Either private or public read only. Now share objects will not be available will not be available <coughs> for the child objects for the child objects which are associated with master detail association which are associated with master detail association which are associated with master detail association Done? Now, let's see. So now here in this case, whenever we are using the help of this sharing mechanism through, okay, Apex sharing, then we have to use the help of this share objects. 
by using this uh, share objects we can able to okay manage that sharing mechanism through programmatically here now let's see whenever if you want to share the record we are going to be creating the sharing rule let's see when we try to create the sharing rule when i click on the new button specify the sharing rule label rule name and the description select the sharing rule type is it owner based or criteria based for example i'm selecting criteria based specify the conditions if the conditions are satisfied then to whom you want to share the record we have to select those people either a public group or either a role or roles and subordinates but we can't select the users there is no such options over here now we can able to select the people to whom you want to share i am selecting a public group over here and what level of access you want to grant we can specify okay that means what upon creating the rule itself we have to indicate to whom you want to share the record what level of access you would like to grant but now i don't want to select that user manually i want to make it dynamic here to whom i want to share the record i will decide dynamically at runtime. time what level of access i would like to grant i will decide dynamically at runtime time over here for that reason this a sharing rule will not support Sharing rule will always allow us you to make it hard coded. We have to select the people to whom you want to share. We have to indicate what level of access you would like to grant. But we can't decide these two options dynamically at one time. There is no such options in sharing rules. For that reason, if you want to choose the user dynamically at one time, dynamically at one time, then I would like to go with the help of Apex sharing mechanism. Okay, through Apex sharing, we can share the records to one or more users with the required level of access to the required users dynamically at one time. That facility is available here. Okay, clear now. So, in this case, here, let's see, make a note of this one. By using Apex sharing mechanism. We can share the records to the required users with the required level of accesses with the required level of access dynamically at runtime. Dynamical runtime by using triggers. now how can we do that we are using the help of this okay, share objects over here we are using the help of this uh, share objects through this uh, share objects we can share the record here now how can we do now let's see practically here account share object so what is this account share object generally what it contains it contains the sharing related information related to account records. All the account records are sharing related information will be available inside this account share object here. Now, this object contains all the account records sharing related information. This object contains all the account records sharing related information it contains the below fields the first field is account id the first field is account ID. Then up to this one, 
down. Let's see. So let me explain the concept first. Now today, I'm sharing an account record here. Let's see. I'm going to the development user here. I'm going to the development user. Just now we have created a record, Apex sharing test account. I want to share the record. What we can do, click on sharing button. When I click on sharing button, it is collecting the currently accessing record, right? Which record you are going to share? We have to go to the record over here. Now this is the record which I want to share. We have to open the record. The record ID is available inside the URL. This is the record which I want to share. To whom I will select the people over here. Now to indicate which record you are going to share. To pass that record ID, we are having a field called as account ID field. Account ID field contains the ID of the account record which you want to share. Inside this account share object, these are all of the field. This is the first field that we have. Account ID field which contains ID of that account record which you want to share. Okay. Now, let's see. It contains the account record ID. which needs to be get shared to the required users. It contains the account record ID, which needs to be get shared to the required users. Second one, user or group ID. Second field, user or group ID. So what did you understood with this field now? Hmm? Hmm. So what is this one? What it contains? Right. To whom you want to share the record here that we can decide. Now, upon sharing the record, we can share it to a single user also or a public group also. So, at that time, we can place the ID of that user also. We can place that ID of that public group also. So that we are having a field called as user or group ID. This field contains ID of that user or the public group to whom you want to share this record here. Because here upon sharing this here, we need to select that user. Now I'm testing user. Whenever I'm selecting this testing user, this particular testing user ID will be storing inside the field automatically over here. Clear? Now. So that here we are having this field user R group ID. It contains user ID. Our public group ID to whom the record should be get shared. To whom the record should be get shared. Next. Clear? Next. Whenever I'm selecting this user, now, for example, I'm selecting the users over here. Now we have to decide the level of access. On my account object, what access you would like to grant? Read only, read write, or full permission, what you want to grant. For that one here, we are going to be having this option. There is a field called as account access level. There is a field called as account access level. Now, this option is used to indicate what level of access you want to grant on this account record. Now, now this is used to specify 
the level of access to be granted on the country card. Here we are having the options. The first option is read, which will be granting read only permission. Second one, edit, which will grant read and write permission. Third one, all. Full permission. Full access. These are the three options. Read, edit, all. Read means read only. Edit means read write. And then all means full control. Like as owner. Next one. Opportunity access level. This is used to specify the level of access on the opportunity record. Here also the options are same. Next. Fifth one, case access level. case access level. This is used to specify the level of access on the related case records. Sir, yes. Sir, yes, tell me. Yes, tell me. Just tell me, madam. What is your question? Sir, what if the user's profile has object level access view all? If uh, if I haven't shared any record with him. Then no. can you he see the he will be, he can able to see everything because it will override the profile OWD option. If he's having view all permission inside the profile, access of all the records, every record he can see. Even though you may shade or not, he can see everything. Okay. Remove. So I have to remove view all and modify all, right? Yes, right. Both. Next one. 
the last field rocas basically this rocas field is used to indicate why this user is able to access the record for that one to specify the sharing reason okay in order to indicate the sharing reason we are using the help of rocas field why we have shared the record is it a manual sharing or because of sharing rule or what okay we can specify the sharing reason over here now let's see this field is used to specify the sharing reason okay sharing reason for example manual or sharing rule etc we can create the share clear now these are the fields now these are the fields are available here whenever we are sharing the record to the users okay manually by using the sharing button it will collect the whole data it is going to be placing this data inside the fields it will create a new record inside your object automatically now let me show you just now i have shared this record here i'm sharing this record this is a record here apex sharing test account this record is having this id like this this is the id is available here now let me track whether this record is shared to the people or not to how many people it has been shared i would like to track it let me show you go to the developer console what is the data now select account id and then i would like to specify user or group id and then row class account access level opportunity access level case access level from account share where account id equals to this is the account id i'm querying this records data here whatever the sharing details are available for this account record i'm collecting this click on execute now it is indicating currently this record has been okay visible to the two people now this is the record id is same okay the same record two members are able to access as of now one is this user this is the id of the user how do you know 005 that means user now this user is the owner rokas is what he is the owner of the record that's what he is having full control on this record over here second one now this is the people who are able to access that now this is what user or public group public Groups. group how do you know public group 00g now now this is 00g is indicating that this is a public group now because of what rule okay because of this sharing rule they are having read access over here no access on the opportunity no access on case over here. it will store this whole data now if you want to if you are sharing the record through the button that means through sharing button it is creating this record right now over here okay if i am sharing the record through that sharing button it is creating the record right now if you want to share the record through programming then what we have to do create a record inside this table through programming that's a simple concept reverse process over here. nothing else now till now i have shared the record through user interface here i went to the user interface click on sharing button enter the data click on save so sharing record will be getting created now through programmatically if you want to do what needs to be done we can create the record in this table through programming how to create the record through programming same concept here now you know in order to create the account record through user interface we can create click on new button enter the data in the fields click on save record will be created 
if you want to create through programming what needs to be done create the object of the account class supply the values insert here also same what is the subject now account share then what needs to be done create the object of account share class that's it just a reverse concept here now in this case if you want to share that account record simply create the object of that account share class account share some ESC share equals to new account share pass the values ESC share dot account id what is the record id here this is the record id which i want to share Yes, you see share that user or group ID. Specify the ID of the user or the public group to whom you want to share. Now, specify the user or group ID. Yes, you see share that account access level. I am granting that read only permission. So, I am indicating read. Yes, you see share that opportunity access level i am granting read permission here yes you see share that case access level i am indicating as read permission yes you see share that row cause i am indicating as manual then insert the record that's it insert acc share over this is how we need to do that. Done? No. Understood the concept now? Next. Now let's see how can we do that sharing mechanism over here. So now my requirement is whenever I'm creating a new account record or upon sharing this account record over here, whenever I'm creating a new account record inside my account object, here I have a field called as share account record to there is a lookup field which I have created during configuration. Okay. Now share a record to a field. During that security concept, we have created this during sharing concept itself. Now there is a lookup field I have created which is having that lookup with user object. User is a parent here. Now this is a lookup field which is populating the user. Upon creating this account record, okay, upon creating the account record. If the account record is having any of this user has been selected here, okay, whatever the user has been selected to this user, I want to share the record automatically, okay. 
whenever i am creating a new account record the record may be any record it may be any values also any conditions i am not bother about that now if the user has been selected over here i want to share the record to this user upon sharing the record to the user based on the annual revenue i want to grant the level of access if the annual revenue value is more than 50 lakhs okay more than 50 lakhs i want to grant read write permission to this user on the record if the record's annual revenue value is less than 50 lakhs i want to grant read only permission on the record that i want to decide through programmatically what is the annual revenue value of the record based on that annual revenue i will decide whether do i need to grant read write permission or read only permission okay understood the concept now now let's see how can we do that now let's see take a small use case now configure a trigger on account object to share the account records to the selected user selected user by granting the level of access as below if the annual revenue value is greater than 50 lakhs then grant write permission that means read write permission if the records annual revenue value is less than 50 lakhs then grant read permission only read only permission so now tell me on what object we need to create the trigger and on what events to fire my trigger now what is the object name and what is the event name object is account object hmm. before insert or after insert before insert hmm. after insert why hmm. already we have entered the value yeah. if you create the record then first of all record should be created right yes which record you are going to share we have to pass the record id right yes so if you need the id then record should be created so we need to fire it on after insert right so after insert trigger should be fired only on after insert event over here till now we have discussed before insert before update before delete now we are doing after insert operations also then now let's see how can we create the trigger let's see do we have any options available to create that sharing reasons
So let me check for that. I'm going to my hiring manager on set. Let me check, do we have any provision to create our own custom sharing reason over here? Modify our data permission. on the custom objects also. Let me go to the hiring manager object.
so let me check for account do we have any option to create that oh management settings okay so let me go with the default row cars here Okay, so let's go with that here. How can we create it now? Let's see. Now let me create the trigger now on my account object over here. So now I would like to share the account record based on the user which we have selected. Upon creating this account record, whatever the user that has selected to that user i want to share my record automatically here and along with that based on the annual revenue value i want to decide okay what level of access you would like to grant if it is more than 50 lakhs i want to grant read write if it is less than 50 lakhs i want to grant read only access now let me show you with the practical go to the developer console Let me create a new trigger. I'm creating a trigger with the name share account records a trigger. I'm creating the object as account. Now tell me what is the event on which you want to share the trigger. Now after insert. Now the first step is what? Check the condition. Okay, why the trigger has been fired? Trigger dot is after and a trigger dot is insert. Now trigger dot is after and trigger dot is insert. Now whatever the records just you how just now you have created inside your object, those records will be storing in which context variable? Trigger dot new. And then can we use trigger dot new map also? Yes, because this is the after insert. So records are having IDs. So we can use it map also. Depends upon your requirement, we can use. So whatever the record just now I have created inside my object, those records will be storing in trigger that new context variable along with trigger that new map also. Now I would like to use the trigger that new because I don't want the ID right now here. I want the whole record. Now I'm collecting each and every record from this account acc record from trigger dot new now i'm collecting this record here now i want to check the condition if the account record active status is equals to yes if the record is active record then only i want to make it shared over here now here i'm checking the condition if that records an active value is equals to yes and account records share record to the value is not equals to null that means if somebody has been selected some user has been selected over here and then acc record dot annual revenue value not equals to null okay now here i'm comparing these three conditions over here if the record is in active status and Inside this record, we have selected the user to whom you have share, you want to share, and the two annual revenue value is also not null. Then I would like to execute this condition over here. I want to execute that piece of condition. 
what needs to be done i want to share the record to the respective user over here to whom you want to share the record that we can decide it over here now in this case here i would like to share the record so i'm using account share then acc share equals to new account share okay new account share acc share dot account id so acc record dot id the current record id i am collecting here i am passing over here this is the record i want to share acc share dot okay user or group id to so whom you want to share acc record dot share record to okay now acc share dot i would like to specify the row cars i am indicating manual okay next now i would like to grant the permission on the record access level here but that will be decided based on annual revenue so i am checking the condition if acc records annual revenue value greater than or equals to some 50 lakhs then acc record dot now account access level sorry acc share account access level equals to edit opportunity access level read case access level read else account access level read opportunity access level i am indicating read case access level okay i am passing the values here i am creating the object of this account share class I am passing this account ID value which you would like to share. User or group ID, row cars. I am passing this account access level based on the annual revenue over here. This is one record. Like that here, I am going to be creating 20 records over there through data loader. Then what can I do? Hmm. For loop, hmm. okay. Hmm. Already I am using this for loop now. Then what we can do? Make it as Collection. bulkification. Collection. Don't insert each and every record. Okay, don't insert each record separately over here. Make it as bulkification. So that here I'm preparing this list of account share, LST, accounts share, new list of account share same bulkification concept nothing else but the objects are different that's it now once the record is ready with the required values over here okay once the record is ready with the required values then i am going to be adding that record to that collection that add of acc share i'm adding the record to my collection once all the records has been added to the collection then outside of the collection, I would like to check the condition. If LST accounts a share is not empty, then I would like to insert. That's it. Over. Now, for that one, we should be aware of these classes in the method. That means pro properties, you should be aware of this. So now what classes your Salesforce is using internally to show, store the share related data? What are the fields are available? In which field, which data will be storing over here, you should be aware of. Like the similar way, as part of this automatic lead conversion, also we have separate class, okay? It is having separate methods. For that one, we are using a class called as a database dot lead convert class. There we are having different methods are available. We'll see that concept also in tomorrow's session. Okay, clear now. Let me execute this piece of code now. Mm. 
now i am creating a new record right now click on new button i am giving the account record name over here i would like to create a record with the name sharing process test account i am giving the rating as hot phone number and the fax number five industry i am indicating as some healthy care annual revenue i am giving like as some 67 lakhs i am selecting that user to whom you want to share i am selecting the user as some testing user i want to share the record this is the annual revenue value that i have given over here i am giving the ownership priority as high active status as yes now tell me here for whom this record will be getting shared testing user with what level of access now read only or read write read write why read write annual revenue is more than 50 lakhs now write now that to the second record is in active status now click on save now my record has been created successfully whatever the data that have given the record has been created let's check who are all the people can able to access the record over here sharing button two people are able to access it here who are all the people training batch user is having full control for user testing we have granted read write permission because it is more than 50 lakhs it is granting read write permission case access will be read only opportunity access also read only okay now this is how we can able to create the records inside your object upon creating the record you can share the record to the required people by using apex sharing mechanism okay understand the concept now now let me place this code clear so this is the concept of apex sharing mechanism it's a common question in most of the interviews it's a common requirement also in every implementation what is apex sharing when should we go for apex sharing how to implement that is most important here okay now so tomorrow we'll see how can we implement the automatic lead conversion process and then we'll see the concept of custom settings custom metadata types over here and then we'll move forward to a concept called as email programming here okay now. thank you